Hi, and welcome to Cat Ren Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today we are going to be reviewing Dynamite Comics Red Sonja, number zero. So, um, yeah, this is brought to you by uh, Amy Chu, the same person who wrote a recent Poison Ivy comic uh, mini run for DC Comics, which was really great. Um... Red Sonja, we have the uh, fire-haired barbarian herself in the flesh. So when we're first introduced to her, she's fighting a dragon. Of course, Red Sonja fighting a dragon. No issue there. And it's it's just everything you'd expect from her comic. And I love the art style here. I love. I love so much of it. And the way it's written, it, sound, it sounds like Red Sonja. It's not somebody who's trying too hard to be someone else. But, yep, yeah, she gets cast out by an evil wizard and sent into a strange new world. And it's really funny because she's unsure of this new world. And she, um, she starts to see light and she's like, are these demons? And they're saying, holy, what the? And she says, devilish gibberish. I don't need eyes. I can smell your foul breath, strange creatures. Back or taste my blade. And they start screaming, what she's saying? She's armed, clear the sight. So as you see, as you can see, they're, um, they're working underground, they're digging, they're, es they're excavating something, and she has literally just come out of, out of the ground, screaming at them, wielding her sword, and she's threatening to kill them all. So it's kind of fantastic. She keeps running until she finds her way into the subway, which of course she doesn't know what the subway is. So she's admiring the tracks and she's looking at the strength of the metal. She puts her face down to it and she's saying that it sings to her. And then she's going to meet a subway car, <laughs> which thankfully she jumps out of the way. You know, she she screams at it to yield, but it does not yield, so she jumps out of the way. And she doesn't understand because she's never seen a dragon like that before. I, I gotta tell you, I love I love this comic. There's there's so many great things about this comic. It's it's fantastic. But she keeps walking through she ends up kind of in like a run down gross part of the tunnels that are clearly shut down and she finds a rodent and she's asking him where she is and i love it she finally she finds um she finds a stairwell to a manhole cover and she gets herself out of it and it says there she is so, yep, the police are there. The police are there, and they have all guns trained on her. This fire-haired barbarian warrior. She's knelt to the ground, trying to shield her eyes from the sun. I love this. I can't wait for the second issue. So, um... It says, uh, the she, the she devil takes Manhattan in January, 2017. So I'm excited. I'm super excited about this. Look at that face, that face. But I gotta tell you, this is, this is incredible. This, this is everything that I wanted this book to be. I know it's only, I know it's only a zero issue. But this was a great zero issue. You know what? If you're not a Red Sonja fan, if you've never read one of her comics before, give this one a try. Literally, it's a quarter. 
I mean, give it a try. It's it's a great little book for a quarter. I'm I'm super excited for the for the first issue. I was about to ready to say the second issue, but the first issue. Um, I can't wait to see what this amazing team does. I loved the art. I loved the writing. It it wasn't trying too hard to be something else. It was clearly a Red Sonja book. I thought it was fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. You know, pick it up. Pick it up. That's all I gotta say. Uh, yeah, so give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me what you thought about the Zero Issue if you picked it up. And what you think about this team moving forward. Are you excited for this new run of Red Sonja? I am, but tell me all about it. Uh, yeah, so subscribe to my channel for more comic book content. Or check out any of my older videos I have up for offer here on Cat Run Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.